my thoughts of discipline and of the highest order. I usher in God's truth with the power of my mind. All the powers in my life that appear to be now bow to the power that actually is. Any illusions that run contrary to the truth immediately dissolve before my very eyes. I am the source. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. God lives in me. Therefore, I am whole, and I bring that wholeness into every situation. I strum the divine chord, and my harmony summons the full manifestation of who I am. Some talk about truth, that's religion. But I demonstrate it, that's power. I am truth in motion. Nothing can stop me. It is written, for the kingdom of God is not a matter of talk, but of power. There is no obstacle, no situation. No trial or tribulation that can stop my dream from manifesting. I didn't just think outside the box. I completely destroyed it. I close my eyes and project my dream onto the canvas of the world until everything that I imagine becomes my reality. Circumstances align and conspire to acknowledge truth, and I am truth in motion. Burning. I am the inner symphony of fire. Good is not good enough for me. Greatness made me. Therefore, greatness is in me. There is nothing about my creator, my maker, that is lukewarm, that is average. Anybody who doesn't believe in my dream doesn't belong in my life. Money comes to me easily, frequently, and abundantly in God's perfect way. Lack. Sickness, disease, none of them have any place in me. For the Lord didn't give us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of sound mind. Let us all close our eyes and starve the illusions and feed our dreams. Fresh water shall pour, pour from the fountain of ambition. There we will recover our lives. Again we shall rule the days, for by facing our fears, the fears of dying, we shall once again discover living. Darkness, ignorance, savagery, all fall from the tree of confusion. Those asleep roam the orchids of struggle while the chosen build their empires. Yet who's strong enough, strong enough to conquer their own thinking? Who's brave enough, brave enough to war with failure? Fresh water, fresh water shall pour, pour from the altar of immortality because we, we are the priests of destiny. The inner symphony of fire. Strum the divine chord, and my harmony summons the full manifestation of who I am. Religion talks about truth, but true awareness demonstrates it. A fully awakened believer is not subject to external circumstances. He's the master of the level of truth that you function at will determine the amount of power that you have over your circumstances. I see not, I believe. I hear not, I believe. I know not, but still, I believe. I starve the illusions and feed my dream. I am truth in motion. God still moves. You can keep your religion. I'll keep my relationship. You can keep on doubting while I'm believing. You can keep on hating while I'm grinding and dreaming. You trying to get a paycheck. I'm trying to leave a legacy. Your goal is to get on stage. You waste the days gossiping with your friends. I grind from the moment I get up to the moment I go to bed. I have no plan B. There is only one option, and that is for me to succeed. This is a hobby for you. This is air for me. If I don't do this, I don't breathe. They asked me if I wasn't doing motivational arts, what would I be doing? I said I'd be in the grave. I didn't come to be an all-star. I didn't come to be in the Hall of Fame. I came to be the best that ever did it. I am the source. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. God lives in me, therefore I am whole, and I bring that wholeness into every situation. I'm not playing for victory. I'm playing from it. I am the source. As Christ said on the cross, it is finished. What kind of life 
Do you want to live? Success is a choice. It's a decision that only you can make for you. First comes the choice. Then comes the commitment. Are you willing to commit to doing what it takes to go where you want to go? A lot of people say they want to be successful, but they struggle and they stumble on that commitment part. A lot of times, the only way we will make that commitment is we have to hit rock bottom. We have to get so sick and tired of feeling the way we do before we'll ever take the action needed to crawl up out of that pit. I think you're ready. I think you're ready and you wouldn't be listening to me right now. I think you know that you have greatness on the inside of you. And you just need somebody to speak over your life and that's what I'm gonna do right now. I speak greatness over you. Arise, champion. I'm speaking to somebody out there. The reason you feel so uncomfortable on the inside is because you know you're not being the best version of you that you can be. That discomfort is trying to move you from where you're at to where you belong. Your destiny is greatness. And you know this on the inside. And that voice just keeps on calling and you're never going to have the peace until you go become who you are supposed to be. Now we're going to set this change in motion for you right now. I want you to say this with me. I want you to say this out loud. I am ready to change my life. I am willing and committed to going all in and fully commit to doing the things that it takes to become the person I was meant to be. And that starts right now. All excuses stop right now. I will not from this point forward point the blame at anybody else for my own destiny. I will take responsibility for who I want to be. I will get up every day and work toward that person that I know that I am on the inside. I pledge with all my actions allegiance to success. I will search deep down inside for a why that will allow me to run through walls with it. Because I will not be denied. Champions put in place the habits and daily rituals that manufacture success. They push themselves constantly to the point of pain. And by refusing to tap out to that pain, they eventually give birth to greatness. Pain is no match for a real champion. The legends understand to be a winner. One must be comfortable at being uncomfortable. The dark, the unknown, the fears that stalk each and every one of us must be faced and faced alone. For the more we go through the fire, the more refined we become. Those struggles, trials, and tribulations, they mold and shape us, prepare us for the calling and events to come. We learn to perform under stress, under duress, and without hesitation because perfect practice consistently makes one perfect all the time. The inner standard of a champion sets him apart from the masses, the wannabes, and the uncommitted. Legends refuse to settle for mediocrity. For them, being average is the plague and totally unacceptable. Champions go all in all the time. Not just on game day, when the practice is over for the team, the work for the champion just begins. They understand the process and what is required to be elite, to be great, to be the best. It requires obsession, passion, focus, and an unbelievable work ethic. Sweat becomes the friend of the 1%. Success is available to anybody that is willing to work for it. Success can only be bought with the currency of hard work. And champions refuse to concede to anything less than leaving every ounce of themselves on the practice field. The weight room, the classroom, whatever champions do, they carry that same inner standard of greatness with them. They don't turn it on and off depending on where they're at. It is constant. 
They never enter an environment without it. To stand next to them is to be infected. Their commitment inspires, strengthens, and impacts everyone who comes in contact with them. They are the leaders, not by word, but by actions. They set the example for their teammates and exemplify the message, blessed and unstoppable.